Now, the Bank of Ghana will not default on its promise to meet all its debt commitments in the second half of the year. This is the assurance by the governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, as he notes that the central bank has enough foreign reserves to make payments, especially for the upcoming $478 million in debt service to the country's eurobond holders. There's more in the following report. This comes as Ghana is suspected to start honoring its debt service obligations to euro bond holders after it signs the final agreement with the bond holders on the newly restructured bonds. The Ministry of Finance on July 8, 2024, announced that it has received a formal confirmation from the OCC that an agreement in principle reached with representatives of euro bond holders is consistent with the comparability of treatment principle, addressing the media at the 119th Monetary Policy Committee press briefing, Dr. Ernest Addison noted that the central bank has made provisions for dollar-denominated debt service payments this year. You ask the question whether we have enough reserves uh, to meet the first tranche payments for the uh, bondholders. Yes, I mean, that's part of the IMF program that has been designed. Right? When you are designing the IMF program, we are very much aware of payments that are upcoming. If you look at the cash flow projections, a provision has been made for this particular payment. So yes, we have had built up reserves to meet some of these lumpy payments in the outlook. All things being equal, the government is expected to present the final agreement to the euro bond holders before September this year as the country anticipates to save about nine billion u.s dollar from this particular restructuring reporting for cnr business my name is emmanuel opon